everybody and today I am back with Title Tuesday once again how are you all doing I hope you are doing very well let's have fun and let's go are you all don't hey karma how you doing I hope the sound is good thank you so much and news gifted for two gifted a uh, gifted community subs appreciate it uh, thank you. How you doing, everybody? Hopefully you are doing well today. 450 players already. Sound is good. Hey, Roger. Okay, okay, guys. Already Magnus and Hikaru signed up. Hikaru is trying to be the first starting starting seed, as it seems. Yeah, he's getting three points. He was first, he was 32-38, he drew, and, and then he's trying to get back. I wonder though how he drew that. Thank you so much, Poker Bros, for 35 months at year one, how you doing? Yeah, I don't know why Black didn't play for a win. Black just decided to repeat for some reason. But okay, yeah, Hikaru. Hikaru's rating is definitely very appreciative for that. Whew, okay. Already 486 players. Okay, 500 already. 500 players, let's see if we can get 700 because there is still 3 minutes left, you know, so 3 minutes can be a really long time for players to join in Title Tuesday. Did Hikaru win? Okay, it's still 32 32. Let's watch him. Where, what button? No, but follow is like. Ah, watch there. The biggest button. Lorgan! Tier 1 for 2 years! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, Lorgan and Pokebras. I didn't stream Bullet Brawl because there is not. Still, there is. Uh, I don't know the English word, but there is like we don't have uh, electricity at some time, so I, I just leave Title Tuesday to stream, and there is everyday bombing, so I, I, I am trying to stream Title Tuesday every week, but uh, there is not enough possibilities to stream other days. Minus two. Why is that? I don't know. Let's see if they can finish before uh, the uh, connection was closed. Let me reload the page. Ah, okay, so there is a tournament and the game is open. And see if they can finish in time for Title Tuesday or will they be late for the round one? And we got a hype train, thank you guys. Hi to Blurchick, how you doing? Eh, yeah, that sound was, I suppose, the tournament starts soon. Okay, that's nice. Thank you so much Logan for 500 bits! Thank you, appreciate it! How are you doing today? <gasps> wait, 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 95 just resigns. Okay. Now 95, it still worked. Okay. Ah, yeah, right, 95, king g8, knight f7, and you take the queen. But it seems like Hikaru won't be able to win this. But maybe he will because flagging, you know? Yeah, he will. One of the pawns is falling. <laughs> Thanks, Lorgan. Hi, Pookie. Yeah, Hikaru wins it with around half a minute until the tournament start. Exactly 34 seconds till the tournament begins. Okay. Okay. So 20 seconds, we are at 616 players. Not 700, but still. Let me close that. And yeah, let's go. 10 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8. Let's not forget emote only. 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Okay, black pieces may be cozy in round one. That would be fun. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Cozy around one. That's what we love to see, no? Uh huh. Hold on, guys. Be right back. Something, something strange happened. I don't know what, but something turned on. Okay, now it's off. Let's go. Queen d5. Yes, this is the line where you go bishop g4. Perhaps he will answer with bishop, reply with bishop b3. I think then you can take, 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 and then, I don't know. Ah! Now this is the line which I never played before, but I was very excited to try it. Take, take, and bishop b3 you take. And this I don't know what to play, hold on. <laughs> I was very excited to try the line, but I only checked the main line. <clears throat> uh, knight e5, I think I take with this knight. Bishop b3, rook d7. Rook d7. This is the idea. H6 idea. Maybe knight d3 or bishop f5. Alright. Bishop c5. Knight d3. Knight f2 thread. Bishop e2 thread. I mean, I know maybe it's not great, but okay. Knight d3. Bishop e2 is a threat to win a whole rook. Yeah. Knight f2 also a threat. You take the pawn and simply go rook f8. Hmm? I'm not sure if this is good, but it looks very good. <laughs> Bishop e2. I, I don't know. Isn't this just winning? Okay, rook f7. And uh, not rook. Knight f7. Yeah, knight c1. Okay. I mean, this just wins a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my goodness. Be right back. Yeah, we have a thing and it didn't... Uh, we forgot to switch off. Uh, switch it off. After the game, I'll go down and uh, and fix it. Be right back after the game. Rook f4. This should be a quick win. I don't know which what to take. I mean, I probably simply should take b2. Because the pawn is a pawn. And rook f1. Yeah, this is just winning. Yeah, that was a good game. That's why we play Cosio. Uh, a a 20, 20 stream of win. Very nice, very good. Uh, you guys watch... I don't know, let's watch Hikaru. Or Magnus, probably Magnus, I don't know. Magnus, I think, is more exciting. Yeah, it's definitely more exciting. Let me turn off emote only. And I'm gonna be back in a second. Yeah, 92 acres. It's a good game. Uh, so, watch Magnus's game. I'll be back in a second, guys.
One second, guys. Here you go, I think I fixed it. Yeah, so let's quickly recap the game. It was a bit confusing when I opened it. Where opened it? 1A4, Rook A3. Magnus with some new openings. Magnus with some new openings. Nice. I mean, unusual to say the least, but it works. And if it works, why change it, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was really interesting. Knight f7, yeah, king of 7, bishop h6, and then two bishops were too strong. But let me quickly check my game. Uh, knight g5, inaccuracy, knight g5 best? Yes, best? Yeah, f4 was simply a mistake, he just allowed that, and then he just lost everything. That was good. Nothing happens on e8, g8. Uh, where? But what do you mean nothing happens on EAG8? In my game or in Magnus's game? You mean that there was no castle or what? Oh, view was blocked. Ah, was it like this? Ah, -ha. Oh, how, what did, ah, okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. But, good for you, good for you. Uh, there was only a rook on E8. And it, it left it pretty quickly. <laughs> So, okay, you didn't miss much. Hikaru also won. 96, bishop g4. Let's see, I mean, MVL should be able to win this. Bishop c6, king a4. Yeah, that was a quick win. Well, it wasn't a quick win, but it was quick when I came to it. Uh, it was a long game since I won. Uh, turned this thing off and... It was still going, but when I turned it, the game on, it ended relatively quickly in about 10 moves. Box should be winning as well, I think. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Should be a win. Evil bar dropped for whatever reason. I mean, I think knight f3 or something, but yeah, now knight f3. Wait a sec. No, 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 no. Knight f3. Wait, knight f3 drew. Chat. There was a big blunder from Bok. Knight f3. And you know why it's equal. If e4, there is knight d4. Yeah, wait, let me quickly analyze this game. That was very exciting, actually. Uh, how many? I played box three times? So, oh, no, against this guy. Uh, what I want to show you, look, it's very, very interesting. Sokvich says it's plus one for black. But here, knight f3, attacking both the pawns. And the idea, the idea is if after takes, black is careless, for example, here, knight d2. And if white takes e4 pawn, it's a draw since it's the wrong promotion square. So, yeah, box. Bok was pretty lucky, but it's very difficult to win this position, especially with three seconds on the clock, so he was lucky, yet unlucky, technically. Let's watch this game. Yeah, white should be able to win this since rook b6. Rook b6, king c6, king b7, king a6, king b7, a6, a7, a8. And that's a win for white. Let's quickly check. Oh, okay, I just win the rook. How did white win this? It's a question. Because it felt pretty equal. I know, okay, rook c7. Well, I mean, suppose rook b5, rook c5 wins. Uh, yeah, okay, white were winning pretty much for the for last 20 moves, and I'm lazy to go past these 20 moves. This should be a draw, even though white is up two pawns. I feel like there is no way. White is white were up two pawns for like last fifty moves. And the bishop just blocks the B pawn and the king blocks the F pawn. Yeah. 
Let me see. Let me see if I can be the first predictor. Four out of four. One point away from being the top predictor. Unfortunate, but okay, top two is top two. And the final game of the round. Rook and king versus knight and pawn and king. Interesting. Black managed to lose the second pawn they had. They were pushing for a win and they over pushed and now they will probably even lose it. I don't know why, but I have a feeling black will tilt and blunder. Of course, it may not happen, but I feel like it will. I don't know why. Or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Rook g6. Eh. No! You had to try to... I would try to keep the knight trapped and, and the king trapped as well. Because now, now the king and the knight are in the center. It is very equal. Yeah. Should be a draw. How is the camera? Camera is good. How many moves was it already? Ah, it wasn't long at all. It was just... Uh, 24 moves played, so still... Still halfway to go, chat. So how was today, everybody? Hopefully it was good. So we are here for a while. Unless king of 3 and rook 95. And I draw, but no. Oops, I mouse slipped. No, 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 no! Let me predict! King of 5. Yes. Knight g5, yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Uh, king e5, yes. Knight f6. Mm. Then draw. What place did I get? Top 9. Wow. Too far away. But I started guessing late, you know. That's the reason. <laughs> okay. Alright. White pieces. Emote only. Let's go. Let's go with Night of Stream. Usual stuff. Okay, Slav, sure. Hi, Rosso Cat. What's up? Let's go 92. Hi, sure, good night. How are you doing, guys? What is up? Uh, let's go B3. I think it's fine. He's thinking surprisingly. Camera is good. Uh -huh. Queen of six. I mean, I suppose he wants to trade queens. So let's go queen to e2. This queen of five could be his idea. And then like rook d1, rook e1 or something. Or knight e5. Rook d1, knight e5 perhaps. Here. Yeah, rook e1. If bishop b4, I will repeat once, because why not? Because my idea is just to prevent e5. Here I think I can play knight e5. If he takes, I take. Then I get my rook to the seventh rank. If he goes rook d8, I will see what I'll do. Yeah. So bishop c3 preventing bishop b4. If takes, I'll take. Takes, take, knight e4, maybe bishop d4, maybe bishop b2, maybe bishop e1. Mm, or maybe not bishop e1 because there is queen e5, f3, queen c5. But something like bishop b2 and then rook d7 ideas. Let's try, I, I want to try to maintain the pressure on the clock. 
because it's a blitz game so if you won't have time I will simply win you know um so yeah just wanna try to continue playing quickly yes take take is there anything or should I m wait for him to take I think I'll just play h3 and make him take on d4 Okay. And I'm one and a half minutes up. I mean, in Blitz, this one and a half minutes can absolutely vanish, like in one move, but it's one and a half minutes. <laughs> they still need to vanish, you know? <laughs> they can, they may vanish very quickly, but they still need to vanish. Yeah, rook f1, rook d4, I take, bishop c3. Rook d1, rook d4, I don't know. Uh, queen e4, take, take. So queen b2. I could have taken and take a7, then rook 8, I wasn't so sure. If rook d4, I'll take with my queen. So rook d4, queen d4, queen d4, rook d4, bishop c3, rook d1, I'll take. It is a drawish, but I have two and a half minutes meanwhile here, 25 seconds. So, I wouldn't mind that. And he doesn't even go for it. Okay, let's not blunder my rook in one move. <laughs> that wouldn't be great. But suppose a3 is uh, no ah, a3, bishop a3, queen a3, rook d4. Mm, no, it's not great. Then let's simply retreat with my knight, putting pressure on his knight. If he goes bishop e7, then I can play rook e1, I think. Okay, queen of five. Now I think a3 is fine. Yeah, bishop e5 perhaps, or bishop c5, or b4 even. Yeah, I think I'll go b4 and then take, and then go knight c6. Yeah. Knight e5 and an idea to take f7. Okay, can I take f7 because he protected it? Well done. But, uh, I don't know, check a knight c6 or something, perhaps. Just keeping, maintaining the pressure on the clock. That's a free pawn, I think. Yeah, rook 8, knight b5. Knight d6, c5 idea. If rook d8, I have knight of 5. Ah, tricky. Knight of 5, queen of 5. Well done, yeah. And if queen of 5, there is rook d1, and rook d8, there is queen c2. So I suppose simply c5 should be fine. Tricky. But now knight of 5 wins, I think. And knight of 5, queen of 5, I take, and otherwise I take and play g3, f4. Hold on, quickly. Take to take. Ah, well, I have rook d1. I have rook d1, I don't even go, have to go king h2. Takes. That's a free. I know that actually is tricky. This queen c1, king h2, queen c7, and I'm a rook down, but I'm simply gonna take rook c8 and push the pawn. Rook c4, rook b4. And rook b3 and push. Yeah, that was a good game. I like how I kept the pressure for the whole game on the clock. And maybe I wasn't winning for the whole game. I was winning on the clock, you know? Because even when the game ended, 1 minute 17 seconds and he flagged. Okay, he didn't flag, he had a second left. 95 accuracy, that was a good game. Very smooth, I liked it. But I can tell you for sure that he probably didn't... Uh, he was unknown with the lines, with Siri and how to play here. Because move 20, he's already down to a minute. Meanwhile, I have 2 minutes 40 seconds. And maybe I didn't play the smoothest way, but... Uh, yeah, 95, I could have simply taken the pawn. But yeah, 95, queen c2. Uh, back and forth, I won a pawn. 96, c5, got a passer, and he blundered. Thanks, Big Three. Yeah, that was a good game. 3x x clams. I played end game with 97 accuracy, middle game with 92.8, and opening with 100 accuracy. Very, very interesting. 
very very interesting accuracy I may say let's see Hikaru won and Magnus didn't win or what do not see him Magnus drew mm. interesting so I am 18 with zero tiebreaker and Magnus is 54th with zero tiebreaker. I don't know how that works, but I'm ahead of Magnus, chat. The tournament can finish. The tournament can finish. It's good. Unfortunately, he can't somehow ahead of me, but okay. <laughs> Next goal, open actually 100.1. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe difficult, but I'll try my best. <laughs> but how actually does this tiebreaker work? Why does it go like from Hikaru? Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. It goes down till till it goes down until 24.15. And then it starts this Magnus. Boop, 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 boop. And then go, it goes down again. I don't know how that works. But I'm out of Magnus. <laughs> Not by points, but by some crazy tiebreaker. Yeah, and then it stops at 2200 and then goes one and a half pointers. Still don't know how other works. Let's see, how many games? How many games are left? Not too many. This should be a draw. I'm doing fine, how are you? How are you doing, Capablanca? Oh, this is nasty. Black War probably slightly better, but... Ah, wait, let me showcase. But look, the king is stuck. The king is absolutely stuck on g8. And then, yeah, black decided to give away a pawn. But yeah, it was opposite color bishop, so it was a draw. But nice, nice, nice way to hold it. This should be a draw, but white is the only one who is playing for a win. Yeah, this is gonna end. Let's see if this game is still going. Okay, this may last for a while. 117 moves and still going. That's a very entertaining end game, not, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it should end soon. No way. No way white wins this. <laughs> I mean, the only way to win this is like to blunder a bishop, which is super unlikely. Let's see if I can predict. Not predict, guess, okay. I thought about Twitch predictions. This here, it's guessing. Eh, I didn't guess. Yes, I guessed it. No, I didn't guess it. Knight of seven. No! I'm locked in. No! Let me guess! Let me guess! G6. Yippee! No! I'm again one off by guessing! No! <laughs> Second time in a row! Second time in a row, I move second place by one point. Wait, is Ibarra's game still going or what? I'd end it as well. Uh huh. Okay. You want only let's go? Cozio, hopefully. d4 i don't know why yeah yeah i just want to say i don't know why i have a feeling he'll play d4 oh no 
fun. But it's better than Qatar. Uh, it's better than London. It is definitely much better than London. Are you more happy about Qatar London London? Because London is just a draw without any any chances to try. But here it's a draw, but you can try to do something as black. And in London, unless it's your opponent uh, blunders in time trouble, nothing can be done. Or blunders not in time trouble, but blunders in general. Nothing, absolutely nothing can be done. Should I develop my knight through b4? Hmm. If this knight on e5 is annoying. I think I'll play a5, at least not allowing him to play a5. Gaining space, maybe queen b4. Though so in this particular Catalan, I don't know if you can do much. Uh, Catalan in general, you can try, but eh, in this one particularly, it's very difficult, <laughs> as it seems to try to do anything. I suppose I'll just return with my rook in a 97. Because 97 now, knight c4, rook d5. That was a bit unpleasant. Maybe it was good though. Uh, yeah, I cannot even play 96. I oh, don't know, maybe I can. He'll sack an exchange. Eh, okay, I'll try it. B6, knight, eh, no, rook a6, rook a6, knight c6, rook a8, b3, b5, something like that. I mean, there I think I should win a pawn and it'll, it'll be good. But I doubt that he'll take. <laughs> and we have some thunderstorm outside. The window is like completely wet. It's crazy. With lightning, thunder. Crazy. I don't always think it so much. Is he actually considering rook e5 or what? <laughs> I mean, he'll probably consider it till he has like 10 seconds and then bam, he'll play rook c1 and draw it. It's Catalan. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Rook d5, knight d3, rook d8. I wanna take. He can't try c6. Take c7, this rook b3, I'm fine, but okay, after this he'll go knight. Yeah, I think c5 is an interesting try at least. To try. And rook d1, I have knight before. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I think I'll try that. c6, rook e5. Rook d8, rook, d, rook c5. Rook d5. I know oh, it's fine. Okay, this. C6, this, this, this. I can go rook e8, I think. Rook c8, king f8. Rook c1, rook d5. Get my knight to b8, rook d8. And somehow I'm holding, I think. If I'm not, I simply take c on c6, rook d2 and play that. <laughs> okay, it goes for c6. Rook e5, boom, boom. Rook... Actually, maybe rook f8. Or maybe rook e8. So then I can control my rook on d8. And protect it. Yeah. Boom, boom. e8, rook c8, king f8. Yeah, I don't know. Go for it. Whatever. I lose, I lose. I don't care. Rook e8. Idea is rook c5. Then king f8, king e7. Rook c8, king f8. 
this rook d5, knight b8, rook d7, rook d8, somehow like that. I don't know. <laughs> it looks weird. Uh, yeah, okay, here knight b8 I think is a must. Rook c8, king f8, rook c1, rook d... Okay, yeah, he goes for this. This is b3, a6, b2, rook b1, this is... Eh? Not sure. Should I take or should I go like king e7? Huh? I think I'll take... Oh god. Wait. Ah. Ah. Oof. Yeah. Ah, blundered. Yeah, unfortunate miscalculation. Shouldn't have gone for that. But okay, still. H5 somehow. Let's try. They know it till it's over. It's over! Yes! <sighs> swindle! Tiny swindle! Yes! <laughs> ah! That was good. <laughs> Hold on, but actually... Okay, I somehow was losing somewhere. Where was that? Okay, Rook 8, I was lost. He blundered. Yes. A, B, B3 mistake. I was winning here. Rook, ah, yeah, right, this is 96, I'm simply winning. Or, not winning, but better. Ah, uh, yeah, rook b5, absolutely over. I missed that, I played b3. Completely lost. Then, then fortunately for me, yeah, okay, at queen a2. But queen a2, it's not so clear. Ah, no, here it's a forced draw. But yeah, it's still a bit unclear. Somehow, yeah, but okay, at perpetual. This is, fortunately for me, he blundered it once again. And then he blundered his queen. <laughs> yeah, but okay, rook b5 was a nice move. Yeah, c6. How, did he, how should I show this? King f8. Rook c1, rook d5. I just couldn't see how he went. Ah. He goes here, and my, if my knight goes here, he goes there, and takes my knight with this rook. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, but rook b5 was a nice move, which I missed. But, a win is a win. <sighs> yeah, I think MV won't be able to win it. Check. 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 Draw again! Oh my goodness, he was winning, but now it's a draw. Hey, Pim, I'm sorry, how are you doing? I'm sorry, I missed your message completely. Hi, Danger Zone, how, uh, hi, Danger Zone, hi, Chris, I'm rich, hi, everybody. What's up? I'm sorry for missing the message. <laughs> my bad. Uh, what's up? <clears throat> Ooh, Bishop and Knight versus King. Fun. Black is on track, as it seems. King D1, King C2. Thank you, Mr. Miriam Snotty. T1 for 62 months. That's five years and two extra months. Thank you so much. 
I'm doing good as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for five years and two months at tier one. Appreciate it. Emote only? Maybe some GM? Danya, Danya, okay. Not Magnus or Hikaru, unfortunately. They just cannot seem to get any of them. In almost, in over two, 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 like two to two and a half years playing. I can't seem to get either of them. But okay, Danya is Danya as well. So let's go. He isn't making a move. Is he berserking or what? <laughs> I don't know. He may be berserking. Oh, he thought this is the break? I don't know. Ah, Magnus didn't win, as it seems. Magnus drew. I don't know why he's making. I mean, my guess is that he'll berserk, or he thought it's already round four and it's a break time. I don't know. Or his internet died, or I don't know what's going on, but it's strange. He's making the move. Okay, I don't know what was this. Let's go. Ooh. takes b5 d6 or something if I'm not mistaken or c6 d6 and oh, no, d6 no hold on I think c6 is the move, if I recall correctly, and d6 maybe. A mad position, right, it's interesting. I think d6 is fine, if I'm not mistaken. He seems to more or less know what to play, because he isn't spending much time. Now he's thinking. <laughs> Maybe he's calculating rook h4. But rook h4 cannot be good. No, no, yeah, he didn't go for it. It's rook h4, queen h4, queen h5, bishop g4. It's not good there. Okay, what if I castle something like h6, I guess? I don't know. I mean, I can't play bishop e7 or I know bishop e7 is a pawn. Castle h6. Bishop e7. Looks scary. Hmm. Gotta move. I gotta move. I don't know what to move. <laughs> Rook G8 or something? I 
I actually don't know what to play. Okay. I thought for much more than needed. Okay, let's... Let's try to keep it cool. I don't know why I thought so much about... I mean, it was... It's an odd move. Rook G8 to play. Eighty-four. Yeah, maybe I was winning somewhere, I don't know, but okay, a good game nonetheless. Ugh. Yeah, it's strange that he didn't move for the first 1 minute 20 seconds. Okay, I wasn't winning. I was war- eh? Is this really- no. Yeah, rook best move. Okay, apparently it was worth e6. Yeah, bishop e7. I somehow managed with this bishop e7, bishop f6 to stabilize. And then it was equal. GG, thank you guys, thank you, appreciate it. And then rook f8, the thing I was worried like 94, I was like, ah! It's like the thing you really want to avoid in time troubles is uh, calculating pawn endgame, strength positions, you know? Uh, but fortunately, he didn't go for it. Yeah, and then after c3, I got my active king, c5 fixed his pawns. Yes, I was really not sure. I was thinking maybe I should sack this pawn and go knight e5. But then I saw, okay, I have king g6, this knight e5 won a pawn. And yeah, maybe I could have pushed somehow. Okay, king f7, but it's really hard to win and I feel like it's unbeatable. A table-based draw. Play 95, king d5. 
I decide not to risk it because <laughs> you, you never know what will happen if when you have five seconds on the clock. Hikaru won. But Magnus should be on three and a half. So maybe I can play Magnus. Duda won. In the final game of the round. Okay, this should be a fortress from white. But it may not be a fortress. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, yeah, King of Five. Nice. King of Five. Nice move. But still, how do you. Oh, Rock and Blunder! Rock and Blunder, Queen G3. Okay. So, chat, break time. I'm gonna see you in about four to five minutes. Take care, everybody. See you soon.
everybody, I'm back! Okay, 45 seconds till the start. But I'm happy with the game against Dania. 96 accuracy is 96 accuracy, you know? It's pretty good. But I still am not sure why he didn't move for the first 80 seconds out of 180 we get. <laughs> it's quite strange. But the draw is draw. All right, 10 seconds, I'll turn the emote chat already. 10 seconds is like, bam, and they are already. 4, 3, 2, 1, bam. Nihal, okay, okay. That's somebody new. Or at least like, I played him on uh, Intel Tuesday, but I didn't play him for a while. That's good. And he says 3100. But that means I was like one away from Magnus or what? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Magnus is on three and a half. Who is Magnus playing? Ah, I don't, I cannot, no, I can watch. Magnus is somehow playing 2813. Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Strange stuff. Somehow Magnus higher rating is playing a lower rated opponent. Maybe colors didn't fit, I don't know. But I would not mind playing twice in a row as black to play against Magnus. A5, did he mouse sleep? I don't know. It's usually A6 is played here. Played here. City of B5. A3, Probably could have played it better instead of taking CD, go like bishop d3, queen c2, and try to attack. <coughs> because how I played, I didn't really uh, jump on this mouse slip and didn't use it to its potential. Because now it's with this pawn on a5, it's like one of the main lines. But I could have materialized more if you like. <coughs> Let's see five. E four, take, take. Rook D eight, rook C four. Maybe let's play H three for now. Because if rook D eight, have rook A five. Ah, he has rook e4 though, blocking my pawns. But then something like queen c3, rook a5, I suppose. Or queen d2. Should be fine. Okay, e4, take, take, take. Rook e8, take, rook d1. Rook c1, rook d1. Yeah, it should be okay. What's up, Lily Journal? How are you doing? How are you today? C5. Ah! I just blundered a point. No, well, okay. 
c5, queen, b5, rook d4, rook d4, this he'll have a, a central passer. Can be annoying, but he'll have a king as well. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, he goes rook d5, queen c4, b5, queen c2, rook d4. Queen e4 looks interesting, preventing c5. Queen d6, rook d3 or something. So if c5 I take. Maybe something like this is an idea. Okay. Not sure about that. Idea is rook f4. Rook d4 here. I don't know if it will work. Check. 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 Hey, queen b7. I mean, I have to take. Here, g3. Yeah, I mean, okay, what am I thinking? <laughs> there are better moves to spend my time on here. know about this. Maybe it's good, maybe it's a blunder. I don't know. Because I want to uh, free up my queen so that it can move. I blundered C3. I blundered C3. No. Yeah, that was close. I blundered C3 completely. But I think I was already worse there. It was interesting. I feel like I was very close to a draw. <laughs> yet too far. Yet so far. It was so close, yet so far. Yeah, it was equal. I just didn't know how to hold it. Felt super okay. Queen e3. Ah, uh, yeah, queen g5. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I should have went into this endgame. Would have been a draw. Queen c3, mistake. Again, yeah, queen g5. My idea was to play after h4 to play queen g5, and I completely forgot about my idea. And here it was equal again. Yeah, simply, yeah, 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 yeah. King h2, rook b3, c4 or something. 
or rook e3, yeah, that would be fine. Queen of was just a bad blunder, completely blundering the pawn. Yeah, king h2, get out of the pin, and then c4 is the idea, because rook a1, c4, I'm actually, I think, winning. Okay, here's, like, the only way to hold it. Uh, queen b7. Yeah, king h2, rook b3, rook e3, rook b8, rook e5, here, rook e7, rook f8, c4, draw. Yeah, that wasn't good. I was better. I wasn't sure. I, it felt better, but how was I better? Okay, I should have played here, bishop e5, and then like f4. Yeah, makes sense. The king is out of place. But then it was a very good game, which is equal pretty much for all of its lengths. Then it was slightly worse, and I managed to equalize. Queen g5 missed twice, and then yeah, blunder with. With queen of four. Okay. Duda is trying to hold rook versus rook and bishop. This is an interesting endgame to watch. Very, very eventful, especially with four seconds on the clock. But I think Duda should be able to hold it. <coughs> Yeah, I was okay. Queen of four was just a terrible blunder. King h2, rook is three, and just a draw. Completely, I completely forgot that my rook is pinned. I mean, okay, I didn't forget that he was pinned, but I completely forgot that I can free it up because he was he was always putting pressure on the third rank, so I couldn't move anything. But when I, he gave me the chance to move, I completely forgot that I can move. You know. <laughs> and queen g5. Yes, you played h4 with one idea to play queen g5, and I completely forgot about queen g5 idea. But it happens. It's okay. How many moves was this already going on for? A while. 109. Yeah, okay, it should be like... Like, I don't know, six moves, because there was still a uh, last one move. But there also has to be a pawn capture. So, like... Five moves at max, I suppose. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah! <laughs> I messed up by one move. I messed up by one move. Okay. That's fine. Ah, I played this guy in the last tournament. He's a London player. Okay. Mr. London. Let's see if he'll go for it. Okay, goes for Reti. Thank you for the follow. Goes for Reti. And he goes for London. Who would have thought? Not a big surprise there. Maybe he'll go C4. Catalan? Yes, this guy doesn't like uh, uh, aggressive openings, that I can tell, I can say for sure. So either Catalan, either London, okay. <laughs> not not the most aggressive, but I also don't play the most aggressive openings in the world myself, so it's fine. Except Cosio. Cosio is too good. Uh... Totally journal with the good vibes, yes, yes, yes. Somehow A4 feels so tempting to go for. But it just equalizes. Okay, let's go H6.
Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Yeah, let's go for Kate. Boring. <laughs> That's the most exciting stuff so far. Can change in a single move. It all can change in a single move. Let's take. He's thinking though. In London, he wasn't thinking at all. That makes me think that he's a bit unfamiliar with the lines, perhaps. Not that I am familiar. <laughs> I'm just trying to make decent moves that don't lose on the spot. Here, I take D for hangs. What does he want to do? Aruxi two, I guess. No, takes Rook D four. Ninety five check. Okay, okay, Bishop C six. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah, I gotta play faster. I thought for too much. He's also thinking for a while. Totally drawing with dances. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different emotes. Wow. It's a lot of emotes, dancing emotes you got. Am I missing something? Will he suck an exchange or what? I'm confused. Mm hmm. Okay. Should take with the pawn maybe. With the queen. Maybe with the pawn, but I'll, I'll give him counter play, perhaps. But maybe not. I don't even give him counter play. B C. I just keep everything protected. Rook D one, D three, Rook F one, Queen H one. Check me. That's how the game will end. He'll try something. A four, Rook D one, A five, D three, A six, Rook F one. Take bam. Maybe he'll include some checks in. That's my prediction check, okay. What will he do next? Push the pawn? Or resigns, okay, I don't mind resignation. Yeah, but it was strange. <laughs> he like simply felt like lost the game for himself. Like, uh, yeah, he gave me this beast bishop on c6. He blundered, oh my goodness, how many more emotes you got, totally journal. Some nice emotes. 91 to 2, good game. Solid, yeah. I was better. I could, I think, I should have won a pawn like this. So it's like queen b6. 
queen e3, queen 7 or maybe some that they could have played better. Yeah, queen b6, queen b6, queen e3, how do I play? Knight, ah, knight g4, nah, I don't know how to play, queen c7, queen c2, yeah, okay. My bishop before just a blunder gave me a beast bishop, d4, queen of c, and it's just over, nice. Yeah, I think so, Karmar. I have a feeling that he does collect these emotes. <sighs> I mean, in simul or, or 1v1, huh? In simul or 1v1? Yeah, Just come to me. <laughs> Online or OTB or both. I'm asking simul or or one v one. No simul. <laughs> Difficult question. I mean, I beat many strong players. I do not remember who is the strongest. Deck, honestly, I mean, I beat Deak. Just the first person I look at didn't be tweeted, but I was close to games I was winning. I beat Joe Spam, I'm not sure. I beat Bortnik. I'm not sure if I beat Penguin. I beat Firuja on Liches, I remember that. I remember that. I beat Blue Baum. Grandelius I beat as well. Danya I beat in bullet, but a win is a win, and I was winning position. Many, many players. OTB in classical, yes, yeah. But I drew Prague in OTB, so that's another, it's not a win, but, uh, I mean, uh, here a draw is a draw, you know. Yeah, but I beat Firuja in a bullet game where he berserked, so it maybe wasn't the smoothest win, yada yada yada, but that's true also, yes. <laughs> but I beat, for example, Derek I beat in Blitz, Botnik I beat in Blitz, Dania I beat in bullet, but I was winning, uh, no, no questions, if in Fir against Firuja I was worse or lost, against Dania I was winning. And he resigned your flag, but I was completely winning. No, Hikaru, I played him once only, unfortunately, and I lost. Well, not lost, I get destroyed. And OTB, OTB I beat a 2500 GM, but in classical, in rapid, I beat a 2500 GM as well. In blitz, I beat many GMs. I don't know which one is the strongest, honestly. That's true, Karma as well. Ah, Hikaru lost, yeah, yeah, today I cried, yeah. But OTB I haven't played much, so, uh, and if I did play, I mostly played in opens. But the game I'm most happy about OTB is honestly probably draw against Prague, you know. I drew against Demchenko and as a 26-30 GM, I was plus 4, I drew, I don't know why I accepted a draw, like zero idea why I did it, but I did it. Green D5 looks oddly interesting. That's VTC mode, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Maybe I won't pre-move and maybe ruin his pawn structure if he takes. H3. Thank you for the follow and you stay here and have fun. Well, okay, I also beat Valjejo in like 2018 in a rapid game. When he was in like top 100, 2700 GM. So that's another pretty good win, I'd, suppose, I'd say. And it wasn't Blitz nor Bullet. So a pretty good game, let's see. When I was 8, that's probably also one of the best games I've played. Even online. A G4 I won't be able to castle. So knight c4. I won't say castle, why not? Maybe one. I have knight f5 after g5. How many emotes do you have, totally juvenile? Oh my lord. How many emotes is that? There's like already like over 20 unique dancing emotes. My goodness. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have castle one <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Perhaps should have just gone here, castle. Eesh, okay, we'll see. Maybe now I'm third thought in it. I'm not sure if it was a bad idea. Maybe it was a good idea to launch this castle. <laughs> I don't know if this is good. I'll go for it. Content chat. Content. We'll see whether it's good or not. But it looks interesting. Rook f6, rook f1. Putting pressure on g6, putting pressure on f7. I want to mate him faster than he mates me, you know? <laughs> because then I cannot mate him if he mates me. Queen e6, that's a winning endgame there. Okay, maybe it's not winning. He found a way to survive, as it seems, somehow.
Yeah, but now knight e5. Bishop d8, e2, rook f7, I mean time is bishop h4. Um, rook f8, and also rook f4. Simple. Check. Like that. How did you make a move with point three? Hey? Chesco, hello. How is that possible to make a move? And with a second increment, he still has zero, zero, 003. Like he has to have at least a second. No? <laughs> math ain't mathing. Rook f2. Let's go bishop f6 so that my bishop can be weak, cannot be a weakness. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Oh my goodness! Oh wow! What did I just do? I blundered everything. Two extra pawns, a rook just gone. Drop! <laughs> Okay, I mean, I don't want to draw now, but I don't know how I didn't win it. Yeah, completely winning. Look, white. I'm completely winning. I pushed pawns too far. They were on light squares, and I panicked. I lost first pawn, I lost second pawn. <coughs> I panicked even more. I lost the rook. Boof. Yeah, I pushed the pawns too far, I should have prepared more. <laughs> okay. Okay. At least I didn't lose, you know? Handshake agreement. <laughs> But yeah, it's still interesting how he made a move with zero 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 three, with a second increment. But yeah, I played terribly. The end game. <coughs> sometimes I was too indecisive, and sometimes I was too over decisive. I don't know if over decisive is a word. It should be. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just panicked here. Okay. 50 move rule. Overconfident. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, this should be a draw. <coughs> Overly decisive, okay. 
Thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah, but overconfidence seems a bit easier to say. Swindle. Yeah, it was a swindle from my opponent, then it was a reverse swindle, it was a mad game. <laughs> Absolutely madness. Absolute, not absolutely madness, but absolute madness. Huh. Or absolute. No, absolute madness was happening. I don't know how I could even say absolutely magna, ma ma madness. Madness. Eh, when will this game end? It's boring. Very boring. Absolutely madness. <laughs> Look! Finally it ended. Let's go. Emote only. <laughs> Cozio? Question mark? Ooh! Against the big rig! Okay. That's gonna be fun. I think my first time playing him, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, nice. Cozio? Queen d3, bishop c3, knight e4, knight c3, rook f8, I don't know. If queen e3, maybe knight c4. Yes, bishop c3, bishop c3, knight e4, queen g7, knight c3, bc, knight g6. Interesting. It's interesting. Bishop d3, queen g5, bishop g6, long castle. I'm not sure if this is good, but it looks exciting. Knight g6, bishop d3, queen g5. If h4, uh, h4, h4, h4. I can play h5. Ah, but then bishop d3. Hold on. Tricky. Tricky move order. This, 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 this. Uh -huh. Okay, h4. Don't know. h5, bishop d3. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go rook of eight then. I don't know. Yeah, so for too much. Ninety six H four is annoying. F four. Knight g4, knight f2 idea, maybe queen f6. I oh, know, I think knight g6 is better. f5, bishop f5. And if queen d4, queen d7, castle. Since this f5, bishop f5, this can be a bit tricky. Knight f3. But now I want to simply... I, I just need two moves to castle. If he goes queen e4, I can go queen... Oh no, he cannot go queen e4. I'm, I'm hallucinating. <laughs> Somehow it's not from g7, queen can go to e4. That wouldn't be great, but yeah, he, uh, he can go to d4, then like queen d7, uh, something a6, let's say castle, should be okay. And maybe then I can even bring my knight back. 
97, 96 and in castle in case I cannot castle earlier he's thinking I'm sure maybe he's calculating some, some combination or something some tactics, hopefully not but we'll see, if rookie 1 uh, queen e7, f5 bishop a2, take take here, here and I think I'm in time to castle even if I'll be a, uh, I'll have a rook for two pieces uh, he'll have a weak ish king, so that should be fine. But he's thinking for a while. So let's see, maybe prepare something else which is crazy and wins on the spot. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Okay, knight f3 sucking the pawn. I sure do not want to take it. Uh, yeah, but okay, queen d7 and then castle. Queen d7 and simply castles. Okay, that was my idea. If he does nothing to prevent it, I'll sure do it. Perhaps he'll play queen d4 now, preventing it. Oh, queen of 6. Okay, queen of 6, 97. 95, queen e4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he... I also wanted to bring my knight here. <laughs> so, I don't mind. I don't mind playing queen d7 with the idea to castle and bringing my knight to c6 in the future. Thank you very much. And queen d4, I think, maybe knight c6 and then castles. Or a6, 96 castles, we'll see. But I feel like queen d4 is a must, because otherwise a castle and I'm perfectly fine. He doesn't go for it, castle. I don't care about the h-pawn. Take it, please. Okay, he took it. Knight f5. I miss bishop c4. I rook g6. The rook g6 is a free queen, no? Mm -hmm. King d8. D5. Zigzags to get the pawn. B5. A6. Let's go queen of 4 Queen e5. He cannot push g5 since I'll take. Get my king over. King b6. B4. And a win. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure he just blundered. I think I misplayed it a bit at some point, but a win is a win. GG. Ninety dot one. Yeah, it was interesting in the opening. Rook of eight is the best. Yeah, I I loved knight g six, but h four just looked too 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 scary. <laughs> Chat, look at the first line of Stockfish. H4, Kini 7. If you play Kini 7, it's probably not the best thing. <laughs> A Vampire Rage. That's nice, you be a sample cannot. <laughs> he rages, he was a gift. Uh, do you mean it was a gift that he blundered the... Yeah, I understood that he was a blunder. Uh, that he blundered the queen. I, I was a bit shaky. I gave him too many passers. But yeah, he, had, he was little on the clock. And he managed to win. Ah, but if... So, if I wouldn't win... The, if I would win previous game, I wouldn't have played the big rig. 
So, so uh, I, I drew the previous game, knowing I played the big Greek, so it would be a content matchup, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I definitely didn't blunder last game. Eh, eh, eh. It was content. O C O N T E N T. Mm -hmm. Got it? <laughs> I definitely wasn't winning for 60 moves and then blundered in 5 moves from completely winning to a rule down end game. No, 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 it was content. Ah. Where's Magnus? Did he win? I, I, I guess so. Uh, how many points does he get? Maybe it's, if he's at 6, I can play him. Blink, blink. Uh, don't see him on 6 and a half. Aha. Uh -huh. He's on 6, chat. Mm -hmm. Just come. Don't, if you don't get what I'm saying, no problem. But blink, blink. <laughs> Magnus next round would be, would be pretty good, you know. I wouldn't complain much. In this, yeah, everybody produces content, but not many people record it, you know. But technically, every chess player is a content maker, content creator, you know. <laughs> I I really hate this endgame, honestly. It is a draw. But now, 24, it's a loss. 24, 24. But it's such a tricky endgame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Magnus next round. You never know. Would be a good surprise. Unlikely, but maybe. Oh, this is interesting. Queen versus Knight and Bishop. It is a... If I'm not mistaken, this exact construction is a draw. Knight is preventing the king to go to c7 or b6. Bishop protects the... Uh, pre wait. Let me, let me show you. This, this, so the king cannot go here. And the bishop protects this square. So the king, king just cannot go past. Oh yeah, that is very true. Thank you for the follow. That is very true. And yes, you just either move the king or the bishop. This is a draw. For another follow. Welcome to this channel. Enjoy stay here. I will not guess Penguin's move, I'll just guess Nyal's moves. Because Penguin's moves are too unpredictable. But I can grind the statistics on uh, Nyal and Nyal's moves. Ooh, careful. Yes. Okay, a break time started, I'm out of water, everybody. See you in a few minutes.
move you by the end back. Just 30 seconds left. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Hey, John G, how you doing? Welcome. Yeah, the emote only begins right now, everybody. Okay. I thought I would play GM, but let's win this game and then play GM. Unfortunately, no Magnus. <laughs> uh, who is Magnus playing? Let's see. Ah, okay, he's playing at 2960. Okay, that makes sense. This season playing somebody lower rated. <laughs> Takes, I'll push, uh, take and play. If knight of four, I'll take and e5, I think. If bishop d4, h3. Okay, if I play bishop b 7 then I'll play g3. Yep. So maybe it's not good because of the X-ray, perhaps at some point, which may be scary. Mm -hmm, yeah, the knight. It would be good to have a fianchetted bishop. Way four. If a five, something like bishop g5, bishop c4 looks interesting. Yeah, here I was thinking queen c2 with the idea that if f5, I have bishop c4, bishop g5, all that stuff. And maybe the idea is bishop f1, bishop 2, uh, g2. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Because I don't know why, but it somehow it's very uncomfortable to have my knight always hanging. And to keep that in mind that maybe at some point he'll push BAM F5 and BAM my knight hangs, you know. Um, let's go bishop g2, maybe knight d2, bishop a3 or something. Bishop a3, knight d2, knight c4 idea. If he takes, the queen hangs. My idea is to take. Well, let's go knight e3 with the idea to have an outpost on d5 or maybe somewhere else. Rook d1, maybe knight f5 somewhere. Maybe knight d5 somewhere. This knight f5. Yeah, I mean, if, ah, no, okay, he has, queen, he has queen c8, so it's not a great idea, I think. Let's come back then, maybe c4 or something. Mm. 
let's go h4. Mm. I thought for too much. I was calculating some tactics. I didn't see anything. Mm. Quite a waste of time. If <sighs> ninety six, I have ninety five. I just didn't really want to trade my knight. Then I give him the possibility to trade. He didn't trade. So <laughs> strange stuff. Okay, king h2. And blunder that. And bishop h3, queen c4. Oof. It's not good. Oh well, okay. Just a pawn, chat. It's just a pawn. Bishop a4. going on. I want my resignation. I thought I flagged. Oh my god, what a game. I was somehow winning, then I managed to throw it so much. Oh, wow, what a game. Oh, wow. It was crazy. B4, I was worse. Bam, rook d4. I somehow am saved. Uh, I was winning. Yes, here I was winning. I should have simply to take and take this. Rook d8, rook d1. Bam. Winning. He somehow did something. I don't know what on earth I did. Got even slightly worse. Then he somehow pre-moved bishop king e7 for whatever reason. And then, yeah, I just won a whole rook. <laughs> Crazy game. Thank you, guys. Whew. Madness. Absolute madness going on. Uh, why are the games not... Ah, okay, they reloaded, but very slowly. Slowly. That's exciting to watch. Maybe Magnus will be the next opponent. Hopefully. Unlikely, but hopefully. I somehow didn't get him when he got a weaker opponent when we had the same amount of points. So it's very unlikely now when there is not too many people on 7 out of 9. But I mean, you never know. It may happen. Probably it won't happen, but it may happen. You know? Oh, okay. Magnus next, hopefully. Very unlikely, but hopefully.
If I get him, I'll try. <laughs> Okay. Okay, emote only again. Let's go. No, no minus chat. <laughs> no Magnus. <laughs> He's playing at 28.76. No! 14 points! No! No! 14 rating points! I started at 28.76, I think. No! Oh, chat. I think I will never ever get Magnus. Mission impossible. B4, no, B4, oh wait a sec, bishop c2, uh -huh, uh -huh. rook d1, ab, bishop b5, queen b7, uh -huh. rook c1, bishop a4, my bishop is out of place, but the pawn is a pawn. Okay, four knight, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, four knight d4, I suppose, is what he'll play. Maybe rook a2. Okay, queen b6, oh, queen a4, <laughs> queen a4, b3, queen b6, knight f5 can be tricky, and knight h6, oof. That doesn't look great. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have to go rook a6 or something, but that looks ugly. <laughs> yeah, 
я probably rook c8 was better so that my queen would be free and I could move my other rook like rook c8 take take yeah this is this is looking very rough <laughs> but okay it's not over till it's over you remember from today I was a queen and rook versus two queens and I managed to win it not, not draw but win it so not over till it's over Yes, very, very terrifying point. <laughs> Rook d6 and an annoying knight. <laughs> an annoying knight and terrifying point, sir. A very terrifying combo. And also in long time. It's even more terrifying. Yeah, that's not good. That is unfortunately not good enough to get Magnus in the last round. Unless he loses, uh huh? That would be fun. Rookie fire, yeah, that's just me. Yeah, okay, that wasn't the best game. I feel like I got a good position out of the opening, but mm, I don't know, it felt good here. Yeah, definitely, okay, probably shouldn't have done bishop c2. I'm just not worse, I think. Oh, he had bishop b5, yes, yeah, we both missed that. No, it was fine. Rook a2 was a mistake. I write at 94. I completely missed that. I, for whatever reason, I don't know what reason exactly, but for whatever reason, I thought my rook hangs on dh shot. I completely forgot that I can move my knight. Yeah, and then I can see, yeah, 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 of course. Then f6, rook a2, and I'm perfectly fine. But yeah, okay, after rook a2, it was lost already. Yeah, completely. <laughs> completely missed that. <laughs> Yeah, there was there was a lag in my brain or something. I don't know. I completely forgot that that I can simply yeah my rook is an egg in. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, unfortunate, but it happens. Hmm. Queen spawn opening. Torre dot uh, gossip variation that's an interesting name of a variation you know magnus is playing is he losing unfortunately not ah he's on six and a half chat he's on six and a half if he draws i will get i maybe get him he was on six and a half okay i said he was on seven that explains why i didn't get him this round Come on! Come on, Casper! Rook h5! Oh, King e5 draws! Chat! Rook h5 for what? No! Yes! No! 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 No, 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 no Magnus today, I suppose. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was already thrown. So unfortunate. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay, Nihal won. Now he's first. Solo first. Wow. Interesting. How many games left? Not too many. Okay, but let's win in the last round. 
that and get a good score. Oof, oof, oof. Let's go! Let's go. Should be a draw in the other games. At least receiving drawer. But I feel like this is more a more let's say perspective. A no after bishop before there is not much perspective for both sides. No perspective isn't the right word. Uh more chances, but again now now nobody can talk about chances. Because perspective is like uh, from what side you're looking on. Yeah. I'm terrible at English, but definitely perspective isn't the right word. Oh, King G6, King G6 was an option. King G6. Eh, nah, this is a draw now. Uh, if I'd be black, I'd try King G6. It's still a draw, but at least some chances, you know? I know Bishop G5 would draw. I don't know why White doesn't go for a draw. Honestly, I'm 0% sure why, 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 why not simply Bishop G5? You had like 10 moves to get it? Now? No? So it's white playing for a win or is black playing for a win? That's a question. <laughs> it's a giant question. Who is playing for a win? It looks like white. Now it's black. Oh, the lights went out, chat. Okay, but I'm still streaming. I'm still streaming. The electricity went off. I should be able to finish the tournament. Sorry if the lightning will be terrible, uh, but I should be able to finish it. And sorry for uh, for the torpedo and the sound. Already know for some like some NASA ship flying up sounds. Uh, it is because uh, it is because my my computer when it's not getting charged it. It sounds like it's gonna fly to the moon, you know. I'm not gonna go for G4. Sorry, chat. Sorry for no content. Boring streamer. Takes. Okay, e3, bishop f4. Or, or not. Yeah, and I'll be greedy. I'll try to hold on for this pawn. Sure, it's good trying to hold on for this one because it looks very passive my position. But okay, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see in a couple of moves whether it will it was a good idea or not. And once again I'm very sorry for this. <laughs> uh for rocket ship sounds. How many night hangs? <laughs> this is quite unpleasant. Gotta play faster. Thanks for James Gifter for gift and tier one sub to Barag Baragal Magnus. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Animus. Oh my bishop is also oof, oof, oof. Don't we need two and then I gotta go h4 because otherwise my bishop may be, may be trapped. <laughs> Mm 
H4. E4 idea. This A four so that I can try moving my rook because so the pawn would be hanging on A three. Let's get my knight over. Because on, from on G two it doesn't do much, to say the least. <laughs> To say more, it does absolutely nothing on g2, or it did absolutely nothing. So queen a6. Okay, let's go. I have a feeling that my computer will like levitate now. <laughs> it's so loud. It's actually crazy. Knight C5. Ninety-four. Uh huh. Yeah, ninety-four, I suppose. Let's go queen e6. I have control of the file. Wait a second. Boom. 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 Let's go. Okay, so I'm happy of two things. I ended on 8 out of 10, 
and that my computer didn't didn't fly. That's that's also a good thing, you know. Eight of eleven is good, but I got it before already. But it's good that my computer didn't fly because it wouldn't be very comfortable to play with a rotating computer. Thank you so much. And you have to forgive the T what's up to Mubot. Okay, thank you. Mubot needed that, thank you. What did I blunder after Queen D3? E5 and my bishop is trapped. I cannot take because these three hangs. Makes sense. Ah. Sounds like rain ASMR. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Harper, for 500 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, guys. I think I should have more tie, bigger tie breaker than last than the last time since I played stronger opponents. I will see. Karmar, a bit, and now he's top one on the leaderboard. Thank you so much, Karmar. <laughs> Thank you, Dolly Journal. Flying computer will be very profitable to sell to you. True, true, true. But how will I sell it if it levitates uh, to the sky, huh? How can I grab it to sell it, huh? Did you did you think through that or no? <laughs> if I cannot grab it, I cannot sell it. Or can I somehow? I was really worried here about f5. For whatever reason, I just didn't see what to play. Yeah, I was planning to take and go queen a6. And it's equal, it's fine there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Beam episode for gifting T1 sub to close. And that's already 181st sub gifted on the channel from Beam I'm sorry, I appreciate it, Beam. Thank you. How much percentage I have? I have 45% on PC. It says half an hour. Should be plenty of time to finish uh, the tournament and see whether I'm in front of Magnus or not. I know Magnus is on eight and a half. Unfortunately. What tiebreaker? 60. That's pretty good. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. Maybe I'm in top 30. Firuja is 59.5 tiebreaker. Am I one of the highest uh, eight pointers? Question mark. Hmm. It would be cool if I'll be highest eight pointer by tiebreaker. With it left? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Or is the bottom? I didn't see how many points yet. Maybe he left, I suppose so, if we didn't see him in uh, top 50. You didn't see him in top 50, so I guess he left. But I do not know. No, 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 thank God there is no no more rounds. Oh, left one is playing as well. Should be able to hold it, but they're already playing this for... 130 moves. He should be able to hold it down. Whew. But yeah, I'm more or less happy with the tournament. Except I'm a bit sad about drawing Sni uh, Los and Snihal when I was equal. And this draw. Four, a three or like four extra pawns, and they almost squint. I blunder two of them, I blunder the rook, and I somehow managed to draw it. But I went against big rig. Yeah, pretty good tournament. And I peaked at 2890 as well. Right now, 2888. Uh, yeah, pretty good number. Pretty cool number. He kind of drew, I suppose. Yes, he did. You can trade, no? Take, take, king of seven, king e5, king e7. Yes, you can. Just be careful if king d5 do not play king e7. Yeah. Okay, let's see. And I'm the first predictor as well. First guesser. Let's go. 21st or 20th? 21st. I am third on tiebreaker of eight pointers. Yes, let's go. Nice. Somehow. Wow. There's so many people behind me. It feels so nice not being last. Last eight pointer. Yes. 
<laughs> Let's go, chat! I was such a tiebreaker. I don't remember was the last time I had 71.5 tiebreaker. That's crazy. So first place Minle, second Michal and third Duda. Both all three on nine and a half, but uh, different tiebreaker. Whew. All right, Chad. So I'll quickly sum uh, some things up and then end the stream because of how much I have. 40 percentage, it says it's just for 29 minutes, so I'll quickly wrap things up in the stream. Good! 21st place, 8 points, Drew Dania, almost Drew Nihal. good result, very happy about it. Yeah, pretty nice, if I do say so myself, and very high tiebreaker. In front of many strong players, and not so many strong players. Ah, in front of you, he won last. Uh, in front of David Anton. In front of pretty strong players. 8 points, very good. I'm not gonna analyze every single game, guys. Uh, thank you so much for the hype train. 2 gifted subs and 501 bits. Appreciate it very, very much. I'm not gonna show every single game. First round, it was a good game in Cozio. Second game, it was a good game. Yes, my opponent was a very long time I won. Here was a swindle. Here, a good game in Zanya against Nihal. I was equally blundered. Here was a great game in Catalan. Here, I was completely winning. Oh, the light is back! Yippee, chat! We can stream more! Whoa! Okay, now let's, let's slowly show all the games. That was quick. Usually, it's three hours or more. Okay, chat! Yeah, we can analyze the games! Yes! Thanks, Rajami. Uh, yes! Okay, let me... Whew! Uh, wait. There. Okay, so this game. And now you see, now you see the, the computer is loud, the laptop is loud, but it doesn't fly! <laughs> Let's stream until the computer... It doesn't fly away anymore! What is going on? Why does my... Keyboard goes crazy? Hold on. Hello? Hey. I don't know what's going on, chat. For some reason, my, my, my keyboard makes me nauseous. Now it's static. I don't know what's going on. It's living its own life. Hey, totally journal. Hey, what happened? Did something... Hey, hey, hey. is the stream here or what? Why is everyone saying hi? Hey? Did you say hello to computer? <laughs> no, it's finally good, I think. Yes, it's back normal. Yes, stream is here. Okay, good. Yes. Ah, come on. Yes. Okay, let's analyze the game. I played very well. My opponent just... Blonde the rook in the one. That was quick. Ah, you said hi. Hey, everybody. I forgot what I said less than a minute ago. Okay, that's funny. Yes, this game. Well, just look at the clock. Static. Please stop it, static. You're making me nauseous. Please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just look at the clock. Maybe I didn't play the game. No! Hold on, let me press it twice and just stop. Uh, you look at the clock. I have 2 minutes 40 seconds, my opponent's 50 seconds. And maybe I didn't play it the best way. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, and then I just won with my opponent pretty much flagging. This game, uh, this was mad. It was equal. Then I was lost, my opponent two queens while I had queen and rook. He blundered, he gave away a queen, and he blundered second queen, and I won. Yes, then against Danya, it was a great game. For some reason, he didn't move for the first one minute, 20 seconds. But then, then yeah, we got a draw. We just traded everything. It was a time trouble, but uh, yeah, it was equal. Please stop at static, I beg you. Yeah, and then it was knight, four pawns, knight, four pawns. I won a pawn, I didn't want to win and draw. Against Nihal, it was very fine. It was very fine all, if I'm not mistaken, up until here, somewhere. Yes, it was fine. It was really unpleasant with this mate in the air. But he didn't have no mate here, I had to trade my queen. No! It doesn't stop. Okay, 
Let's finish the stream before I'm feeling nauseous. Ah, oh, can you please stop, please? Okay, rook c4. Yes, and then after rook c8, it was more or less equal. So it would be fine. Rook a1, king of 3, but no, rook a1, you go rook a8. a3, king of 3. a2, and this is fine, because if he tries pushing the pawn, it should be a draw. Take, take. I, I have checks forever. Yes, I thought it's a draw. So it's a draw. I didn't see it. Uh... Yes, it was still a draw. Here I blundered completely, missing my blundering my pawn. I should have simply went king h2 and pin my rook. Oh my gosh, I'm actually feeling nauseous. And then go rook e3 and it would be fine. Hi, John, how are you doing? Thank you. Take care, Chris Damir. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye. But yeah, I blundered the pawn and I just lost. No, it was 8 out of 11, 21st place. I'm happy with the result. He was at Halan ish. And. I got a good position. Uh, I won a pawn, I gave it back, but I got a beast bishop, and then he just had to give away an exchange, and he lost. That was good. This game was terrible. Uh, yeah, it was crazy, but then I found, a, I think, a brilliant c bishop c5. I don't know why it felt so nice. Queen e6, this is this. Thanks, John. Uh, and I got a really nice position, completely, completely winning. Uh, three extra pawns, completely winning. But I was slow on time. Here somewhere my opponent made a move with 0, 0, 3. I don't know how that is possible, but okay. Um, but then, yeah, I played very slowly. I pushed. I got my pawns very oddly placed that I couldn't push them no more. I should have advanced my king, but I lost first pawn. I lost second pawn. I panicked. I lost. I thought I win a pawn, but I lost the rook. But unfortunately for me, we repeated the position somehow, and it was a draw. Then against the Big Greek, it was a good game. It was a very interesting opening. Bishop c3, 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 c3 crazy uh, Vienna game. f4, my king isn't castled. Uh, I castled this knight f5. He should have taken knight e6. But, 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 he was long time. He played bishop d3 developing and just blundering rook d6, losing a queen. And I ended up winning. Of my keyboard. Uh, here, yeah, here I played a bit sketchy, but it was also nice. Uh, King h2, bishop before I lost the pawn, I blundered the pawn, but I, I, I played well on counter attack. Bishop before here was really nice. Rook d4, I sack my queen. If he takes, I can take rook d8, queen d8, knight c6, the same position as in the game after bishop f6, so I don't lose the queen because of a discovered attack. This is this, I was winning. Here I could have simply won after bishop d5, bishop d5, knight e7, rook d8, rook d1, he can resign. I didn't see it, I played b5, still completely winning. Somehow I managed to lose a pawn, but then he blundered a rook, then I won, mad game. Here, yeah, here it was fine. I played well. Uh, and up until here, I, I thought I cannot move my knight because my rook hangs, but of course I could because my rook protects the other rook. And yeah, I played rook a2, and yeah, I simply lost afterwards. It wasn't the best game I played today. And in the last round, it was pretty nice as well. Mm, the electricity was off. Ah, I'm busy, but nicht zu viel. That's probably not correct because German is too hard for me. Uh, but I think there was at least I'm busy and I know it's a bit so I, I know I, I know a bit in German I don't know a bit of German but I know a bit in German <laughs> was correct okay good good it's good enough danke danke uh, yeah here I blundered uh, I blundered a piece e5 that I cannot take because my queen hangs but fortunately for me my opponent blundered a pawn and then I attacked him and here I thought oh my goodness how, how don't I have anything? I, I, sh I have such a strong attack, but uh, I don't see anything. But I found g7, and the idea is if he pushes, I have queen h6, and that's made. And if knight g5 as in the game, I took, and I won the game. So, 8 points. And 21st place. Whew, chat. I'll end the stream for today. Pretty tired. Was a great stream. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for the support. Uh, I need this gift her two gifted subs yesterday. Appreciate it very much. Pokebra, uh, 35 months at tier 1. 
Thank you so much, Lorgan Tier One for two years. Appreciate it very, very much as well. Then Hype Train, Lorgan another 500 bits. So we got two gifted subs and 500 bits on that Hype Train. Then BMAP Snotty subbed Tier One for 62 months. And then we got two gifted subs from Anonymous Gifter, who gifted to Baragel Magnus and to Mubot. Then Karmar, one bit and 500 bits. I don't see the 500 bits, but there was 500 bits from Karma. And also be me absolutely a tier one sub to close. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody, for the support. I was in Germany uh, from March 2022 till August, uh, till, yeah, August 2022. I'm in Ukraine. Uh, take care everybody. Thanks all for watching for the sport. I hope you had fun. That was really fun. Take care. Bye Karma, bye John, bye Vampire Ridge, bye Pookie, bye Totally Journal, bye Crash Dummy Ridge, bye Lorcan, by Bimi Absnoti, bye bye Baragel Magnus, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye Klaus, bye bye Danger Zone, bye bye Johnny D, bye bye Dubious Apple, bye Doctor of Love, bye Vampire Rage, bye bye everybody who was here, bye to Blair Chick, bye everybody for the support. Take care, everybody. Thanks all for the support. Hope you had lots of fun. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.